Are you struggling to conceive and wondering if adenomyosis could be the reason? Adenomyosis is a condition that is often mistaken for endometriosis and it can significantly impact your fertility. In this particular video, we will be only discussing on how adenomyosis affects fertility and we really won't be discussing on its pain management because that is a whole different topic. I make a lot of videos focused on women's reproductive health and if you find such information useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more women's health insights. Adenomyosis occurs when the endometrial tissue which is normally inside the uterus grows into the muscular wall of the uterus. This leads to an enlarged bulky uterus, heavy menstrual bleeding and severe pain. A 20 2022 study published in the Human Reproduction Update found that women with adenomyosis had a lower implantation rate and overall pregnancy rate when compared to women with no adenomyosis at all. So how exactly does adenomyosis affect fertility? Adenomyosis can alter the shape and size of the uterus impacting sperm transport and embryo implantation. This is especially important when adenomyosis is very close to the uterine cavity. Chronic inflammation and increased estrogen levels due to concurrent endometriosis can also impair endometrial receptivity making making it harder for an embryo to attach. Normal uterine contractions are very essential for sperm movement and also your embryo implantation. Now, adenomyosis may disrupt this process, reducing your chance of conception. Adenomyosis is usually underdiagnosed because its symptoms overlap with other gynecological conditions like fibroids and endometriosis. However, advanced imaging techniques have drastically improved the diagnostic accuracy. Transvaginal ultrasound is often the first line investigation, but may sometimes miss very mild cases. MRI is usually the gold standard for diagnosing adenomyosis due to its high sensitivity and specificity. Adenomyosis can also be diagnosed as an incidental finding who are undergoing diagnostic laparoscopy for unexplained infertility. A 2023 study in fertility and sterility showed that pre-treatment with GnRH agonists before any ART procedure could possibly increase the pregnancy rates in women with adenomyosis. When all your other factors that can cause infertility have been ruled out, or if the woman is experiencing excruciating pain every month, a laparoscopic adenomyomectomy can be recommended at that point. This minimally invasive procedure removes localized adenomyosis while also preserving the uterus. This significantly reduces pain during every cycle. Now, it's also very crucial to choose the right surgeon and the facility for this procedure because improper closure of the adenomyoma can lead to significant complications during pregnancy. Now, if you're curious to see how we perform a laparoscopic adenomyomectomy, click the pop-up here to watch the whole video. Now, some studies suggest that adenomyomectomy can improve the pregnancy rates, but the results are not as significant as removing a fibroid that is encroaching into the uterine cavity. Now for the million dollar question, if you have adenomyosis, should you jump straight to IVF? Women with adenomyosis should not really rush into IVF because IVF success rates are generally much lower in women with this condition. It's often better to try a few cycles of ovulation induction and super ovulation first. Now as for the number of these ovulatory cycles, it greatly depends on the patient's fertility goals, her age and her AMH values. Can adenomyosis be prevented? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, currently there are no proven methods to prevent adenomyosis. However, early diagnosis and proactive management can really minimize its impact on fertility. Maintaining hormonal balance through lifestyle changes such as managing stress, maintaining a healthy weight may reduce your symptoms. Adenomyosis can be a challenging hurdle on the path to parenthood, but it's not impossible. With the right tailored fertility treatment and the support of a dedicated healthcare team, many women with adenomyosis successfully conceive. So if you are having adenomyosis, consider consulting with a fertility specialist who also has a surgical background to get the most optimal outcome. Now I want to hear what you have to say. Have you found any success with any particular treatment for adenomyosis? Share your story in the comments down below. That's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.